Arabs. Good girl, pumpkin. Good morning today. Thanks, sweetie. You want to go outside? You want to go walk around? Is that ladder OSHA approved? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up, man? All right, as you can see from those trees, we got a storm coming in. Winds are really high right now. It's like 55 miles an hour. And, um, well, at least the gusts are. And that's supposed to hold through the evening, which is kind of concerning because I saw two trees fall over. One was alive and one was dead. So I'm hoping, um, some little, little pumpkin. I'm hoping that our camp is good and that we don't have to worry about any trees falling over. So it's gonna be one of those nights where I, I might be on pins and needles and be up all night. So we'll see how it goes. But the uh, storm looks like it's starting to come over there. You can kind of see all the clouds starting to gather and that's the direction it's supposed to come from. And then by tomorrow morning, by like 10 a.m., it's gonna be out of here. So. Should be an interesting 24, well, I guess more like 18 hours to kind of see how this storm shapes up.
Hey, what's up everyone? So for those that are new to the channel and haven't seen my Arizona property, that's where I'm at now. Uh, Sierra was having some problems at that elevation that we were at and she kept on having these, these dry coughs that would sometimes last, you know, for, for quite a while in the morning. What you just saw wasn't bad at all. That was just a minor one. But um, started, it was starting to become an everyday occurrence. So I thought, well, let's come back here and, and get her into the vet and see what's going on. So we got back here a couple of days ago, excuse me, and I've actually been working on a camper project, which I'll show you next in the video. And then um, I'm going to call the vet tomorrow because they'll, I think they're, actually they're open today. I'll probably just call them after I record this and get, get an appointment for Sierra and get in there and kind of see what's up and just get some tests done and just make sure everything's going okay. Since we've been back here, she hasn't had those coughing fits. So maybe it was the elevation. It was just, you know, the thin air and stuff like that. So, but uh, more, inform more information on that to come as, as I get that information. But I wanted to show you just real quick my, my wood-fired hot tub. This is <laughs> one of the reasons I'm really glad to be back here because my body was kind of killing me in Colorado. Um, I have a copper coil system that I use and I actually use a water pump as well. Uh, I used half inch copper tubing that you can use that's, that's like flexible, but you wanna be real careful when you're bending the coils because it could uh, crimp pretty easy. But I just use a, a water pump like this. It's 550 gallons an hour. And this is a 160 gallon uh, tub right here. And so essentially you get up almost like three, three full um, deals through the, the, the copper coils, the water getting pumped through in an hour which is pretty good so i can get out to temperature in about two hours and i built like this rock thing around here that way it can keep the the warmth inside and then i've also got the top of a 55 gallon barrel drum which i'm not using and what i do is i put this over the top and it traps the heat inside it. and so it keeps it a lot like a lot warmer in there so there's that and then i'll show you the property i've, I've got like a bunch of projects i'm working on i'm knocking down some trees that have some beetle kill uh also I'm clearing more of a spot for a cabin. Um, there's an area where I want to build like a deck area that goes out over a rock outcropping and then build a little cabin over there. Um, I want to make some changes to the to the uh, the camper, the vintage camper that we have. What's up, girl? Come here, sweetie. Here comes Sierra. Come here, girl. Come over here. What you got? Come here. Come here. Let me see you. Come here. She's doing good today. We've been having fun running around the property. What's up, girl? She's been she's been napping in the sun. So I know, sweetie. You're happy we're here. So anyway, let's go and I'm gonna show you the project that we're doing right now inside the camper. And then uh, tomorrow I'm actually heading over to Phil's place because down to Mob, he's got a ranch close to here and he's getting into hot tent camping. Kodiak Tents sent him a tent and he's got it all set up and everything. So I'm gonna take my little backpacking stove in my, in my teepee tent and we're gonna head over there and do some hot, uh, hot tent camping with him tomorrow night. So, all right, let's check out the project I got going on here in the camper. going on and then you're out again but you come out with a feeling that something's been downloaded in imperial college they found a way to keep people in the peak state of dmt for an hour they're delivering it through through drip through time release and they're keeping the volunteers in an hour in that state so they have time to find their way around the, the dmt <laughs> Far we can throw this. I want to share my thoughts on what I'm doing here. So I'm breaking down the closet because this was kind of wasted space in here. And I want to open up this entire area because I want to eventually put a love seat right here where the table is. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to break it down to right here and remove this front portion. And this is not load bearing here, so we'll be fine. And then I'll leave this in here, maybe enclose it with some wood, and then leave this open right here and just pull. I've got wires behind here, I'll show you. I've got these wires right here. And so I'm gonna probably pull those back and just, just pull them back a little bit. But make it to where it opens up a little. 
And then I'll eventually move that table over to this section over here. And there's like a little, let me show you, there's a little window that is right there. And so it'd be like kind of right in this section here is where I'm gonna move the table. And then I can open up this entire area here and have a legit platform for my stove in the winter time because I wanna um, have it to where I can have the stove right over here and then in the summertime, you know, it could be maybe my air conditioner over here or something. I could put it in this window. Then I could have the love seat there and then the, you know, the bed over here and have more areas to hang out. Because as it stands right now, when people come over and hang out, they have to sit on one of the wooden benches on either side, which are basically the wheel well covers. And that's just not comfortable. So I've already been spending a lot of time on this this morning. I took out the, the door frame, the door, all that, all that stuff. I'm just basically prepping it to make it bigger. And this is just gonna open it up in here and give me more room and not make it as choppy. Cause like the bed that I have is awesome, but it's huge. It's a queen size bed. So it takes the majority of space in here. So it's basically just a bedroom. And I wanna have an area where I can like legitimately hang out, work on videos. Once I get a, a couch over here, or a love seat over here, I'm gonna have like a, a, a fold down table that I can that can drop down, that I can work on stuff and edit videos and things. And Sierra can chill on the bed by herself and just kind of relax. and. I mean, it's her bed anyway. I only get about 5% of it each night to sleep. <laughs> so it's amazing. She's such a small dog, but she takes up so much room. But um, anyway, we're going to continue working on this. So I'll give you some updates here shortly. All right, let's check out the end result. It's uh, well, this is the first phase of it. I'm gonna end up putting a love seat in there and also moving the table around. And um, right now I'm getting the hot tub going though because I'm heading over to Phil's here in a little bit. I'm gonna take my backpacking wood stove and then also the TP tent and test it out at his place. And so I wanted to get a soak in before I head out. But let's check out what this looks like inside the camper here. It's really opened it up and made it really a lot more spacious because that's where the whole closet used to be right there and i've still got one more patch to cut to put over there but that's like my fire kind of like heat barrier thing for the wood stove and this is the kaneko stove it's the trekker i was using the backpacking stove which i'll show you here shortly um actually i'll show it to you right now it's right here and the only drawback to this is the stove pipe here um the base of it here where you have the damper it's in like this to control the airflow. The problem with it is that it's kind of flimsy and with that much weight coming down on it with the other style of stovepipe I was using, there were a few times where I got some backdraft on it. But overall it works pretty good. Kept it pretty warm in there. But the Trekker is way better. You can put in a lot bigger pieces of wood. It smolders a lot longer and I pretty much get all evening burns if I put in like pine or something like that. But I really like it because it opens up this entire area and I think I'm going to put a curtain up top there to kind of cover up the different items I have above the sink. But eventually I'm going to take that sink out and move the sink and also the, the uh, fridge to like this section right here. And probably put the fridge right here, relocate the stove next year up to that. And then have the stove pipe that just goes straight to the roof instead of having it right here like it goes out. I just removed a window pane and put in a simple stove jack. But uh, what I can do is I can move the table over to this section and then have a little like shelf right here that I could cover up with a cabinet and then have the refrigerator right here and then the, the uh, table and then open up this entire area for a nice love seat and lounge area because I mean, I, you know, I've got these great views looking out and let's see if I can get low enough here without knocking stuff. But you can kind of see there how I've got, you know, views looking out onto mountains and stuff like that. Definitely this way you can see a little bit better. But here's my bed. I've got a queen size bed in here. And what I was referring to are these little wood benches on either side. It's kind of where you got to sit right now. And that makes it uncomfortable when I have people visit. And so what I want to do is have it to where, you know, there's the love seat area right there with a little drop down table and everything. So I'm just going to move that next year. But that's the like, you know, quarter tour. <laughs> just real simple here. Real basic camper. It's a 1971. Yellowstone, uh, was it Jayco, I think? 
and the previous owner put in like a rooftop or not a rooftop but a, uh, a fan there uh, some LED lights that run off deep cycle batteries in front but I don't have any deep cycle batteries in here right now and they put in this really cool tin stamp roof which I like so just gonna make some improvements and make it better and be good to go and then uh, here's looking to the west so it's nice as there's cell phone towers on the top there so I get real good reception here and then looking back at my camper here's looking east and my views towards this awesome ridge that's right behind me and I'm right at about 6,000 feet in elevation and so my hot tub's great because the evening sky is just I mean the night sky out here is insane it's a dark sky area and I, I've got 14 acres and uh, I don't really ever hear anybody out here I've got a neighbor down the road that I hang out with every once in a while we take our remote control trucks and go run around but other than that there's no one running around out here and that's why I love it the solitude is just amazing so all right we're gonna pack up the backpack here and uh, go head over to Phil's and Phil's starting a hot tent camp now so I'm really stoked about that so I'm gonna check out his tent I think he got a Kodiak tent and he's using the trucker stove so we're gonna have some fun today we're gonna cook up some cheeseburgers and stuff. 